Can you name these great American novelists? You've read some of them in school, right? But one writer you've probably never heard of is John Rollin Ridge, AKA Yellowbird, the first Native American to ever publish a novel. In 1854, John, who was a member of the Cherokee Nation, published The Life and Adventures of Joaquin Morietta. It's the story of a Mexican folk hero who avenges the murder of his wife and children by racist white settlers in Gold Rush era California by assembling a gang of outlaws to steal from the rich and give to the poor. Today, it's considered a classic of American literature, one of the first books to talk about racism in the United States. So why did John, a Cherokee Indian, write about Joaquin Murrieta, a Mexican outlaw? To be honest, John and Murrieta had a lot in common. Born 1827 in present-day Georgia, when he was 12 years old, John witnessed the murder of his father and grandfather. They were killed by their own people. Cherokee Indians, who saw them as traitors, were selling out to the U.S. government by signing the Treaty of Echota and giving up their ancestral lands. This was a defining moment in Native American history. It led to the forced removal of Cherokee Indians to reservations in the West, otherwise known as the Trail of Tears. Years later, John avenged the deaths of his father and grandfather. Now an outlaw, he avoided arrest by fleeing to California, where, like Murrieta, he tried his hand at gold mining. But John found his true calling as a journalist and novelist. In his book, Murrieta did some pretty questionable things. And in real life, John was no better. Despite the anti-racist message of his novel, John believed that the Cherokee were superior to other Native American tribes. And he became a proud slave owner when he settled in Arkansas later in life. What a hypocrite, right? Maybe that's why John Rollin Ridge is one American novelist you've never heard of. 